there's still a good opportunity for independent practices to really do very well if they can focus not just on the right fits for their patient, but also they got to ask themselves, this is a whole other topic, so we can't dive into it. <laughs> um, but who is benefiting ultimately from the purchases that you as an optician or optometrist are making? If it's a major insurance company or a major optical company that is also buying your competition and owning your competition, then you kind of need to ask yourself, you know, how long do I plan on surviving when I'm funding my own competition? And that's right. happening not just on the managed care side, but also on the lens brand side too. Now you've got major corporations who own private practices. So uh -huh. you're buying from the competition that might be one mile down the road from you taking your patients. Right, right. And I think a lot of it is just because offices don't realize that there are other options. You know, they've been, this narrative is that, I guess this narrative painted by the big corporate companies, whether it be the vision plans or, or whoever it may be, um, is, is that, you know, you need us, we're going to give you extra kickbacks and we're going to give you extra this and we're going to give you extra that. And, um, uh, that's why I love having you, um, on here to be able to discuss these things because there are many offices that had even no idea, you know, that there's, oh my gosh, there's other independent labs around. It's not just, you know, the one guy here in town who was, you know, whatever, <laughs> right. who, was, yeah. who was dealing for everybody, <laughs> you know? Yeah.